This week we stay on a French snail farm. Justin is aghast at the fuel prices. Maria has a wobble. We found Bambi. Mick fancies a gamble. When's a snail racing start? We see the scariest Red Bull soapbox derby racer ever. And Dustin from Stranger Things joins us to fill the van up. Pay for some petrol. Let's figure out how to do it. On a machine. Plum. Plum. Bloodwing 2 is before 2000. She's 1999. So apparently we've got to use the expensive stuff. So we've just got um, some fuel from Carrefour petrol station. Um, um, it was one nine one point ninety four euros, which is equal to nearly one pound seventy a litre. Jesus, which is quite expensive. Yeah, I know uh, we're paying one forty two. Yeah, so I I gotta be honest. I thought it would be a little bit cheaper over here, but I thought it's it was obviously gonna be not. A lot cheaper. Yeah, well, that's a lot more expensive. But yeah. this is the cheap. But this is the cheap station around. Yeah. So we're going to have to um, keep a lookout for cheap fuel and just pull in and just pick some up, even if it's a fiver, I suppose, if we've got room in the tank. We just keep topped up. The first exit on the route is St. So we're off to a place called Commons, I think. I'll double check on the view. Um, it's a sna snake farm. It's not a snake farm. There is no way on this earth I would be going to a snake farm. It's a snail farm. Um, yeah, so we're going to go there. We're going to stay there for the night. And I think it's 10 euros a night, including electric. So yeah, so I think we're going to stay there for one night and then maybe move on then again. Any boy. We're going around the wrong way around the roundy boat now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are actually. Jeez. We're in France, love. We're in France. Oh, no, no, it's not a roundy boat. That was the way in. <laughs> They've given us the way in. It's just a turny turn. Oh, actually, it was the wrong way, too. Once we'd settled in, we plugged in Bloodwind 2 into the electric hookup for the first time. Okay, we're going to put the battery charger on. Yeah. Ooh. We've got a light and everything we have. Nicely done. Whoa, look at the size on those in conjunction to my foot. Wow. They are some big mushrooms. So we just had some tea and uh, Lenny's just eaten his food and had a drink and now he wants to go for a walk. So we found a nice little field right next door to the campsite and me and Lenny and I were just having a little walk up here. Love him, he's desperate to get, to get out. He has been out today, but uh, he just loves being out. Yeah, when Lenny's running, you can see a smile on his face. He absolutely loves running. Running on the beach, I think, is his favourite, but he'll run anywhere. So, yeah, so when we're out and about you, we, we bought an extra long lead. So this lead is 10 metres long. We'll put a, um, a link in the, in the description for you. But it's a great lead. He goes for miles on it. Well, it's not for miles, it's 10 metres. Watch your stingies, watch your nose. Ah, ah, come on. You'd have sting you on the nose. I 
I just love thistles. I love the purple. It's such a gorgeous colour. We've just driven down here and sometimes I find the drive through, especially on motorways and some of the roads, quite stressful and my anxiety levels go up. Like earlier on, we were behind a tractor and there was plenty of room between us and the tractor. But um, a car came from like three cars behind us and because there was cars then coming towards us, he had to get in quickly in front of us whilst the tractor was stopping. So we all had to bring in, slam on and my anxiety levels hit the roof. I don't know if anybody else um, suffers with a bit of anxiety when we're driving. If you do, let, it, let me know in the comments on how you deal with it. So we've just walked um, up through the field now and at the top of the field we've just come up against uh, this huge field of massive corn. I think it's corn of the cob, yeah? I think it might be corn. It's not, they're not quite ready yet but they are huge. Reminds me of the film Children of the Corn. I don't know if I should walk any further. So we're just coming up to the end of the path here. I think it does go around but I think we'll, we'll turn back. have a look oh yeah Ooh. yeah we'll turn back now I don't want to go too far really it's getting quite late it's getting dark yeah I'm gonna make my way back anyway another reason wild boar I mean I don't know if there are any around you but I don't really want to come face to face with one that's for sure we're on a snail farm yeah. we're, we're still quite north uh, we're not far from Lille at the minute and we stayed in this snail farm last night. Yeah, so we're just going to have a little look around now. I know there's a few different animals here and there's some snails. Are we going to get to eat the snails? Uh, not sure really. We'll have to have a look. I think they sell them in the shop. I'm looking forward to trying a snail. It would be cool when in Rome and all. Or when in France. Do as the French do. I don't know where Mick and Lenny have gone. They've gone the, the other direction, so who knows. <laughs> Come on, let's go and have a look. I think there's some snails in here. Come and have a look. Ooh, look at those. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Food, he thinks we're going to feed him. I think he likes to pose for the camera. Hello, gorgeous. Ooh, he's off. Beautiful. <laughs> you haven't got any grub for me. Did he just fluff? I think he just done a big fluff. <laughs> <laughs> he was out loud. He didn't care. <laughs> Here comes Lenny and Mick. Hey. When's the snail racing oh, start? Yeah. Oui. Ah, d'accord. Yeah. Huit euros dix. Yeah. Oh, merci. Thank you very much. The French consume around 40,000 metric tons of snails each year. Spaghetti. Snail spaghetti. Snail spaghetti. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. There's even a National Escargot Day on the 24th of May. The science of growing snails for food is called heliculture and they've been eaten as food since around at least Roman times. Oh, looks like this has been on the Soapbox Derby, on the Soapbox Rally, on the Red Bull Soapbox Derby. 
Right, so Justin now is going to fill the motorhome up with water using the station here. So we put two euros in here and you get 10 minutes of water. You can empty your toilet in there. And I think you can have an hours of electric as well for your two euros if you're not staying. So, which is quite nice. You don't have to stay. So this is the water. This is drinking water there. And this is just fill up water. So Mick is going to fill up with water as well. So we've just attached the hose pipe and then we're just going around here because our water fill up station is around the other side. Okay. Justin's having a fumble with the keys. Go on, love. Always. You can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Right, is this the right key? Yes, it is. Yes, nice one, love. By the way, love. Yeah. Here we go. Woohoo! So we're going to fill this up now and then we'll have a shower when we get to the next place because we'll put the boiler on and it'll warm up the water as we're driving. Free shower. Go on, boy. Fill in that. <laughs> around until the end for the snail tasting but I just want to take this time to say thank you so much for watching we really do appreciate that if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up catch you next time Are you eating a snail? No. <laughs> but you were the one who bought them. I bought them for you as a present. No, my love. You yes, bought them no, for no. the blog. No, you I'm bought not. them for your fans. I've got bacon <laughs> and... I'm a celebrity. you got to say I'm a celebrity get me out of here. Yeah, I'm You're a like celebrity that. get me out of here. And then, right, you got to do that fake faint that that woman did before. Julian McKeith. Yeah. I will be doing that. Go on, you got to do oh, your... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you putting snails in that? No. Not before I take mine out. So I'll be having mine Where's in my little bowl or plate. And then you lot can have the snails. Who's having snails? Get your money out. Who's having a snail? Justin, obviously. <laughs> you bet on me, guys. Yeah, bet on Justin. That tastes kind of weird. Was it like rubbery? You would like it. I don't know. It tasted of nothing, but it tasted a little bit rubbery. But it wasn't. It wasn't nice. It wasn't horrible. Must have tasted of something. Anyway, now we got snail sandwiches. That's a new one. It's a snail. <laughs> Alice D. Delicious! <laughs> oh my god, those snails were disgusting! <laughs> Actually, they were like, kind of nice. Would you have them again? Uh, yeah, probably a little bit of an acquired taste. What about you? Now I've said there's no taste to them. No. You still not? No, but because for me it's the consistency. Before yeah, when I had them, right. they were soft on the outside and, and like hard on the inside. But these ones are not the same. 
They like all the same all the way through. A bit like sweets, I suppose. A bit like, um, not a wine gum, softer than wine gum. But, uh... Oh no. Yeah. Licorice, maybe? Oh no. No, like more like a jelly baby, I oh. think. Consistency of a jelly baby. Yeah. Smooth. That's it guys, in the end, what's my conclusion? Uh, it tastes a bit smoky, I think. Not bad. I'm not going to eat 36 of them, that's in the jar, but not bad. Hey Donkey, do you know where you find giant snails? Where do you find giant snails, Lenny? On giant fingers! <laughs> Are you eating a snail? No. <laughs>